my name is professor mohammad asim and we are doing additional mathematics additional mathematics for igcse which have syllabus code is 0606 and cie o level which have syllabus code 4037 as you know students we have started chapter number 1 from this book name is functions and we have done exercises 1.1 so 1.2 1.3 each and every question each and every part and we started exercise 1.5 and we did first seven questions all parts today we are going to start last question of this exercise 1.5 that is question number eight <coughs> excuse me see question number eight sketch the graph of y is equals to 3x minus 4 absolute valued function for the values of x from minus 2 to 5 but minus 2 and 5 are excluded because minus 2 and 5 uh, excluded because there is no equal sign with sign of inequality showing the coordinates of the point where the graph meets the axis axis means x-axis and y-axis so first we have to write the question of part a y is equals to 3x minus 4 absolute valued function x is given from minus 2 wait minus 2 less than x less than 5 first we need to draw a table which shows the values of x and values of y so this is x and this is y we have to take the values of x minus 1 0 1 2 3 and 4 now put one by one like this first we have to put minus 1 in the question 3 into minus 1 minus 4 y is equals to 3 ones are minus 3 minus 3 minus 4 minus 7 and the absolute values of minus 7 is always positive so for minus 1 y is 7 similarly put 0 when you put 0 3 into 0 0 0 minus 4 is minus 4 and absolute values of minus 4 is plus 4 similarly put 1 3 1 is 3 3 minus 4 minus 1 minus 1 means plus 1 then 3 to the 6 minus 4 is 2 then 3 3 is 9 9 minus 4 is 5 and finally 3 for the 12 12 minus 4 is 8 so this is the table of values of x and y now we have to draw the graph with the help of the given values This is y axis, and this is x axis. I left more positive margin of y than negative margin because we have all uh, we have all values of y uh, which are positive so plot from 1 to 8 1 2 3 4 
five, six, seven, and eight. This is positive y. This is positive x. And this is the origin where both the values are zero. Now values of x are one, two, three. Wait, I want to take two square as one in order to get good graph. One, it's up to you. Three, four. Similarly, minus one and minus two. Now plot all the values. Start when x is minus one, then y is seven. So this is point number one. When x is zero, then y is four. When x is one, then y is one. When x is two, then y is two. When x is three, then y is five. When x is four, then y is eight. So these are our points. Now, I want to check all the points again. X is one, y is one, x is two, three to the six minus four two, three three the nine minus four five, three four the twelve minus four eight, three zero the zero four, three one the minus three minus three minus four minus seven plus seven. No mistake at all. So this is one one, and this is two two. Yes, this is three five. Yes, and this is four eight. Sorry, this point is wrong. This is four. Therefore, this is eight. Okay. With the help of a scale, okay. Before I plot the points, I want to find the vertex. How to find the vertex? Write the question again. 3x minus 4. What is the number? Which number which is outside the absolute value? There is no number. So we should write 0. Okay. So the vertex is take this 3x minus 4 is equals to 0. 3x is equals to 4 x is equals to 4 upon 3. So vertex is x is 4 upon 3 and y is 0. So where, where this 4 upon 3 lies on x axis definitely on x axis. So this is 1 this should be 4 upon 3 is what? If you find 4 upon 3, 4 divided by 3, the answer is 1.3, 4 upon 3, 4 upon 3 means 1.3, so where 1.3 has to lie, this is 1, this is 1.5, so this should, 1.5, this should be 1.3 or 4 upon 3. So join these three points. What I mean, this is our vertex. I mark cross on vertex. This is our vertex. Join these points. Join these points.
and now join these points wait here we go this is our graph so in this question as compared to previous question in previous question when we make this table when we make this table we obtained vertex directly from the table but in this question vertex from the table vertex is not occurring therefore we find the vertex with the help of vertex method so please keep in mind the graph of absolute valued function is always a v shape so this is our vertex and y intercept y intercept is where the line cuts the y axis you can see y intercept is 4 and vertex is 4 upon 3 comma 0 now come to part b on the same diagram sketch the graph of y is equals to 2x y is equals to 2x so for y is equals to 2x we have to plot the points make a table of values for x and y take at least three values this is x and this is y one two three and four take any values for example i am taking x is minus 2 so x is for x is minus 2 2 into 2 minus 4 y is minus 4 and x in 3 for example 2 3 is a 6 and x is 4 2 4 is a 8 x is 5 2 5 is a 10 so just take random values so minus 2 minus 4 x is minus 2 we need to extend negative x axis i am extending negative x axis this is minus 1 this is minus 2 so when x is minus 2 then y is minus 4 this is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 so minus 2 and y is minus 4 this is first point x is 3 y and 6 x is 3 y is 6 this is second point x is 4 y is 8 so x is 4 y is 8 this is third point already mark x is 5 this is 5 and y is 9 10 so x is 5 y is okay students now join all these four points with the help of a scale I am joining all these four points. 
this. Now, in order to find the intersection, I want to extend our absolute valued function. Okay, student, see this. Our graph, the straight line, has drawn. Part C. Part C is what? Solve the equation. Solve the equation 2x is equal to 3x minus 4 absolute valued function. So, see where the graph cuts each other. So, this is the first point. This is first point. I am drawing dotted line. And this is the second point. This is the second point. Wait. Yes. So first point is this. So this is 1. This is 0 0.5. This is x is equals to 0 0.8. And the second one is almost 4.5. 4.5. But student keep in mind, answer in the book is 4. 0 0.8 and 4 but my answer is 0 0.8 and 4.5 so kindly if you draw more accurate graph as compared to me you will get 4 okay so this is part c i completely hope you complete understand this question as well so thank god we have completed exercise 1.5 in today's lecture now our next target is to start exercise 1.6 which is another kind of function called inverse function so in next lecture we will do exercise 1.6 in two to three lectures 1.6 will be complete the student if you have any problem Kindly write in comment box. I promise you I will help you. Okay. And second thing. If you like my videos. Kindly subscribe my channel. Like my videos. Share my videos. And press the bell icon button. So that whenever I upload my videos. You will get the notification. Okay students. Good luck for next class.